Okay, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> oh boy, I just saw something really amazing. Hang on a second. Stay with me. Let's check our framing. We can adjust that a bit better. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, whoa. I was just walking up the trail and it was huge. I don't know what kind of eagle it was, but this huge, it was too big for a hawk. It was wingspan like this. Um, could have been any number of raptors, um, but koi. I was just walking by and like about, I don't know, 20 meters away, poof, it just flew up from the ground. Um, I see stuff like that in the air sometimes, but, you know, I live in, in the canopy, right? So a lot of that stuff I don't see, because a great deal of that happens up in the treetops, of course, right? As you might imagine. So this is a very special tree. Very special. Yeah. And it's kind of a nice day. It's very, it's a nice, feels like a winter day today. Nanao maleo, nanao maleo. Means winter has come, and uh, beautiful. For here, quite cool in the morning. It's like I'd say around 17, which is it'll, it'll get cooler, but you know, pretty cool for the end of October. Nice flow of water as well. Great day, great day. Um, I hope to get up on the mountain. Um, Later this week, we'll see how my work goes and stuff, but I hope to get up there. I'll get up there this week or next week, for sure. Maybe do a little video up on the ridge, that would be nice. Just go up for the day, you know. Soon I'll go camping, for sure. A leaf in there, I'm trying to get out. Let's see if I can do that. I don't know if I can. Oh, it's rising. Come on. You can do it. Okay, let's see. There we go. Up. Oh, I can just pull it out. Oh, there we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, that's one done. One down, one to go. Hey, so I hear there's an election going on. Soon.
There's something up in the tree there. A bird of some kind. Flitting about. Cheers, best water in the world. I'm gonna talk about. Might as well come closer. Come a bit closer. Okay, where are we now? Yep. Do -do -do. Ba -bum. Do -do -do. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what's the big thing? Oh yeah. Okay. So we got this selection, right? So who cares? I mean, I know people care, but just my opinion. Keep that in mind. Do whatever you want. Don't matter to me. But I would say that if you're voting for one of the the goofballs uh, because of for environmental concerns, I wouldn't even consider them for that. Vote who you like. If you like Trump, vote for Trump. Then he did a few good things. If you like Biden, vote for Biden. I don't know. I don't or if you don't want to vote, don't vote. That's fine too. Because uh, neither one is any good for in the overall long-term environmental issues, in my opinion, right? So, with that in mind, while well, there's this election going on and, and uh, stuff like that, there's also the Laptev Sea. That's my main point. Oh, it's already cloud over. Um, so the, what's been interesting in the Arctic sea ice is the Laptev Sea specifically has, um, is not refreezing anywhere near the normal rate, right? So at the moment, the sea ice in that region, actually there's no sea ice in the Laptev Sea in the summer, but I think this could, I have a feeling this can be applied to the Arctic in general, right? It's not refreezing at the same rate. But I think especially on the Siberian side, is my understanding at least. Um, that um, um, so now now that sea ice for this time of year is the lowest it's ever been, probably in human history. And I'm not talking the Homo sapien history, maybe the all of human history, like the two whatever million years. Anyway, yeah, whatever. I have to I have to double check on those dates and estimations. But uh, yeah, so that's serious. Um, if you're wondering about the shallow seashells, like the Laptev Sea, the Kara Sea, the East Siberian Arctic Sea Shelf, the East Siberian Arctic Shelf, I think it's called, they're all quite shallow, right? And there's, there's, there's clathrates, uh, frozen clathrates, which are 
frozen, I believe, class rates are frozen methane uh, in the seafloor. So the big concern is that the water heats up enough that it, the melting starts uh, cutting into the seafloor and melts those clathrates, right? And then whoosh, up goes the methane. And Natalia Shakova and I think it's Igor Shmelitov, maybe? Anyway, two Russian scientists, though it's Natalia Shakova that does, has done the public speaking. Um, I think, or at least they were at the time, working with the University of Fairbanks in Alaska. And she did this amazing public uh, report, I guess, on video. You can still get it on YouTube, I think, um, talking about the risk of uh, a huge release of methane if those shallow, if the, the, if the clathrates melt in those shallow seas, right? One of the, I think my understanding is that in a deep ocean, when the methane releases, it gets absorbed by the water, right? But at a certain level, the water can't absorb enough, and so it gets released into the air. That's my understanding. Um, so she did an amazing, she, she's, look, there's a, for sure a 50 ton, 50 gigaton burst of methane coming is what her thoughts were. She says, it could be tomorrow. Um, now I'm paraphrasing, but more or less she says, it could be any time, like, it could be tomorrow or in 20 years, you know. And uh, I always think with that stuff, that earth sciences stuff, that tomorrow or 20 years is, is essentially the same thing, right? It's, t it's, it's happening now, right? Um, but of course, from a human scale, 20 years is quite a long time. So, but from the earth, earth, uh, geology, uh, earth systems, whatever, it's, it's a, just a, uh, just a slight bit longer, <laughs> like half a second longer, kind of, in human terms. Anyway, so that's really interesting stuff and serious, right? That's why I can't, I can't help but joke about the U.S. election and stuff like that. Anyway, but anyway, do you want, I mean, I can see why someone might vote for Trump. For sure. I can see someone, someone might vote for Biden. Actually, I can't actually <laughs> tell you the truth. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Do, do what you want. Do what you want. Don't matter. But, but my, my thought is, and feel free to disagree. I mean, don't say mean things or anything. I'm just saying my opinion, right? But I don't think it makes any difference, you know, because neither one of them is uh, saying anything of any, any depth or importance. Nor is like the people love AOC and all that Green New Deal stuff. I, I wouldn't even give them any attention myself either. And and actually I sort of feel more pissed off at that bunch than the Trump types, right? Like because she's, they're, they're painting themselves as these great saviors of saviors of the earth and that's bullshit. You know. That's nothing. There's no concern for the nature in, in that, in my opinion. Anyway, I guess that's it for here. I'm going to start walking. And maybe I'll check in in a minute. Maybe I'll see that eagle again. I should just run the video while I'm walking. Maybe maybe the, the eagle landed and will take off again. Maybe I can catch it. Okay, see you in a minute. I kind of thought, I'm going to see if I can prop this. I just have a selfie stick thing for the... Phone. I'm gonna see if I can prop it up somewhere so you can see how I lift the path up. Oh, I'll do it over here. I think this might work. Okay, I, I think that might work. It's quite heavy, eh? You need to be a little bit careful. Um, put my stick up so that. Can you see me okay? Yeah, that's good. Um, so I don't have to bend down, you know, whatever. Okay, uh, tighten my pants up. So I have these two handles here. And what I do, lift it up to here. Put this in the front. An adjustment that needs doing. Put this on my shoulder. It's still supporting the pack. Not to stick over anyway.
kind of got stick anyway, but okay. <laughs> there you go. I have the pack on my back. I have a trump line. Where is that thing? Here's my trump line. So I'll use that generally going up hills. Just it takes a bit of weight off the shoulders. And um, yeah, that's how I get her done. Getting her done. Okay, well, let's walk and see what's going on. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's, you know, uh, this time of year is so... I don't know how to word it. I just... It's like a relief. It's so beautiful. Uh, because, you know... I know I go on about the rainy season and it's way easier than I thought it would be and after six rainy seasons I feel like it's not really much of an issue but it does have its things to deal with right so but anyway so when this the first wash of the coming cool dry season comes on oh it's such a wash of relief it's so oh, oh it's just so lovely you know I think everyone, everyone I've talked to that lives up here really likes the cool season. Some people that don't live here, I think don't like it because it's too cold. But, I don't know. Or maybe don't, wouldn't want to live in it, maybe more like it. But, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get more rain. We'll get more rain, but you know, it's going to be petering off and we'll get a lot of days like this. And, uh, then, you know, this will go... What is it? End of October, November, December, January, February. It'll just start to warm up. And, um, uh, dry. It'll be pretty dry by then, usually. And then start to warm up, and then the hottest time of year is April. So end of March through end of April is really, really hot, even up here. You know? Uh, like 30 degrees. Actually, <laughs> for Thailand, 30 degrees isn't hot at all, really. Um, pretty normal. See people wearing ski jackets on their motorbikes when it's 25. <laughs> Which is understandable. Anyway, I'm gonna flip it. You hear that, that high-pitched sound? It's, uh, that's an insect of some sort, for sure. It's so constant, both in pitch and volume, that it almost sounds like an industrial-type sound, machine, you know? But it's not. This guy.
Trails are still a little wet, a little damp, we'll say. Of course. But quite a bit drier than last week, I'd say. Blue skies, smiling on me, nothing but blue skies. Is all I need. Bum bum, do the bum bum, fly the bum bum, do the bum bum. Okay, well, I guess that's that for today. So what did I talk about? Oh, that shallow Arctic seashells. Look out! <laughs> Run for the hills! <laughs> or wherever. <laughs> Vote for whoever you want. Uh, it's a bit beyond the sphere of my uh, deeper knowledge, I'd say, but uh, who, who cares? Um, what else? What else? I don't know, what else actually? Uh, anyway, hope everyone's doing fine. I got a Patreon and uh, donation thing that I put up at the beginning and the end of these. Um, if you feel like you want to contribute a bit, why the hell not? Go for it. Um, wow, look at that, eh? So beautiful. Anyway, yeah. Hope, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, stay healthy, etc, etc. I don't know. I always want to say don't give in to the fear, all that stuff with the COVID, but I don't know, do what you need to do. Okay, à la prochaine. See you later. See you on the flip side. Ciao. Bye.